Hey, Forrest here. Nothing like getting paid. And with ICCU's mobile app, I can deposit checks or accept Zelle payments so the money hits my account fast. I just wish there was an app for mowing the rest of these lawns. Right now, Lithia Ford of Boise is buying used vehicles. How much you want for the SUV? Uh, I don't know. Well, Lithia Ford will give you more than that. How much more? More than you think. I'm not thinking anything. I'm thinking you might get even more than that. See how much more you can get at Lithia Ford of Boise. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. Rowpaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coating solution. It's time for the Winston Venables Show with former Boise State linebacker and assistant coach, Winston Venable. Today's broadcast is coming from the Cutwater Spirits Can Cocktail Studios. Check out one of their more than 30 flavors of pre-mixed premium cocktails at your local gas station or grocery store. The Winston Venables Show is brought to you by Progressive Wealth Management, enhancing wealth for this generation and the next. To speak to a trusted advisor or to learn more about Progressive Wealth Management's financial services, visit pwmmanagement.com. Now joining Winston Venable, here's BJ Reigns. Hey, what's going on, Boise State fans? Happy Wednesday to you. Winston Venable is here. It's another edition of the Winston Venable show as we inch closer to Saturday's spring game, which I'm not looking forward to, Winston, because then it's uh, the end of uh, daily content here for the next two, three months. So we'll be uh, starting our uh, 25 uh, most important players, some big offseason storylines. We'll see if we can uh, get you involved in some of that uh, this offseason. But uh, there will always be football talk. But I guess in terms of uh, actual interviews and things happening that'll end with Saturday's spring game. So a big final couple of days here for the Broncos and, uh, excited to have our man Winston Venable here to help us break it down on Bronco nation news, the Winston Venable show. You, you uh, heard it there presented by progressive wealth management, Winston. We appreciate it, man. How's it going? Hey, I'm doing great, BJ. It must be, uh, it must be golf season for you. Once, uh, the spring game is over, you know, you say you don't have much time. My, my guess is I can find you out on the uh, golf course with some cut water or something, huh? My wife might be listening, so I can't uh, comment on that. But, uh, no, it, it's all work nine to five, man. There, there's never any time for golf. Come on, you know yeah, that. Yeah, okay. We'll see, you at the, <laughs> see, you at the golf, we'll see you at the golf tourney early June, man. That's a work. That's a tournament. That, that, uh, yeah, that, that is going to be exciting. We're looking forward to Winston to having you out there for that. Uh, actually, I have a little graphic. I got you, uh, Tyler Rossa, Thomas Spurbeck, or some of the uh, former players uh, that are going to be out there for sure. So I made a little graphic with uh, you and Thomas and Tyler Rossa that I'm going to be uh, putting up later today to announce that you guys are officially coming. So we are looking forward to that. And, yes, we, we will, uh, as part of your payment, Winston, we will get out uh, to the course at least once or twice before then to make sure you're ready. And I will provide the cut waters as well. So we'll we'll have some we'll have some fun if we can get you out. You you work too hard now, man. You're a working man now in the office there trying to oh, I, you know. I think I can uh I think I can get a couple practice sessions in All prior right. to that date. You know, we'll, maybe we'll bring Tracy out too or something. Maybe that has to happen yeah. to allow you to get out there. But we'll uh looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. But I'll tell you what, at least it's sunny today, but there hasn't been much golf weather yet this spring, man. It's been cold, it's been rainy, it's been more football weather than golf. But uh thank goodness for the uh, indoor uh, Cave and Williams Sports Complex. They've been practicing more inside this spring. They probably have uh, in a long time. Yeah, I heard. Uh, actually, saw a couple clips. They were outside, and they had to take that scrimmage inside, and a little bit of a sudden change there, and got to adapt and adjust. And coaches, that's probably at least for the head man. That's probably something that you you enjoy having, just so you can make that adjustment, see how guys react to it, players, coaches. Um, a little bit of a change. That we used to call it a sudden change when you know, they kind of throw something different at you. So great time to um, get adjusted to things for the Broncos, you know, with this weather that you're talking about. But I'm hoping that spring is here. You know, I know we've been in spring ball for a couple of weeks, but hopefully, you know, we can uh, keep the sun out and a little bit of that weather above 40 or 50 would be beautiful. 
Yeah, no doubt. And, uh, you know, we're going to hear from a couple players uh, today. Rodney Robinson uh, had some good stuff to say. Today after practice, we're going to be hearing from Talon Green. So make sure you check uh, the Bronco Nation News YouTube channel this afternoon. We'll have Talon Green interview uh, posted for you. Looking forward to catching up with him ahead of the spring game. Now that he's after, out of his freshman year, there uh, this will be the second time I think we've talked to him this spring. So they're starting to ease him into some media stuff, Winston, now that uh, that, that first year is, is out of the way. But uh, the, the final week of spring, Winston, it's the last couple of practices before before the pads go on the shelf, you know, till till uh, August. I know the rules have changed a little bit with what coaches can do in the off season now in terms of walkthroughs and whether a ball can be around and all the different things you guys can do. But essentially, the last full practice. Before I ask you, as a kind of a coach to player, your thoughts on that. Here's Rodney Robinson on the importance of this last week. This is the most crucial week for us because this, is, like you said, this is the last uh, few practices before um, before there's no football for a minute. So. Uh, this week is crucial to uh, fine tune the things we need to fine tune uh, within, within ourselves. So for me, it might be, you know, just uh, being a better post player and it, it, for people it's different. So just making sure we fine tune those things before spring ball. So we know going into fall camp where we did good and the things we still need to improve in. Winston, uh, the last couple of practices here and in the spring game on Saturday, I think they technically have a practice on Monday or something. Uh, the spring game is actually practice 14. They'll do one practice on Monday to kind of correct and go through some of the things from the spring game. Um, but uh, what's it like here is that uh, things are starting to wind down and these are the last couple opportunities for these coaches to, to really get their uh, hands and put their stamp on, on this team here this spring. Yeah, no, I think, I think Rodney and you guys are hitting it right. I mean, the, the time's running out for, you know, the amount of practices that you're in pads. So all these practices that these guys have had and allowed to be in pads and full gear and all that type of stuff. I mean, uh, there's a lot of value to having these spring practices. So like Rodney's saying, I mean, they're going into the last week and it's not really one of those things that, you know, from training camp, you kind of went at the end of training camp, you're tapering off a little bit, getting ready for a season but not in spring ball. You know, it's almost like the opposite. It's almost where we're going to be at our peak and we're going to have a really big time week knowing that we're not going to be in pads until August again. So this is that last time for coaches to get young guys reps, for young guys to get comfortable, for some of the vets to start to learn some things and, and build that confidence. So definitely a huge week for the boys, huge week, huge week for the coaches to implement new plays, um, start testing different things out and seeing what they're wanting to do for this, you know, summertime. So then once the summer comes, you know, you let those boys go a little bit and they're doing a lot of work on their own and it's not as intense. I'm curious your thoughts on this. I don't know if you've seen this or not, but there's been a little bit of talk recently of, of uh, the potential of some spring ex exhibition games. And I know Auburn was mentioning something about wanting to play UAB, and UAB has said we'd love to play Auburn. And, and uh, the NCAA currently doesn't allow you know exhibition games in the spring. What would be your thought? What do you think's the coach's perspective on instead of playing yourselves in a spring game, playing in Idaho State or in Idaho or even College of Idaho or just another team in the spring game, um, what, what would be your thoughts on, on playing somebody different? Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Um, I think it would be, you know, and obviously it'd be one of those things that you'd, you'd probably try to give each university the option to do it. Uh, and I don't know how that would, you know, is it an advantage, a disadvantage or whatnot, but I could see a lot of coaches being fired up. I mean, players, would be super fired up to go against somebody new or somebody different. I think coaches, they'd really get to, to test their workout and test their installs and their plays against some different opponents. And uh, I mean, when it comes down to it, there's a lot of what we call play it periods where, you know, the offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator, they're off script. They're just calling the plays as you see it, right? Just like a game. And that's like them mimicking and, and coaches getting uh, practice at what they're doing, play calling how much of an advantage or good for a coach to be able to do that against somebody you totally don't know their defense. Maybe you put in a little bit of time, but um, I think it'd go, it'd be very valuable. The NFL does it during training camps um, where they play against a different team and they have those little days or weekends to go against another opponent. So I think that'd be pretty cool. I think the players would be fi fired up for it and the coaches would, uh, would definitely get a lot of use from it. I would think the fans as well. I would think you'd get a much bigger crowd if you had an actual game to play, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just throw in, I mean, 
you know, if you can keep it local, right? Like, you know, yeah, like you said, Idaho State or Idaho comes down to the blue. They're going to travel some fans. Hopefully we would have the same amount, if not more, to come out. So, yeah, get the concession stands rolling and you got a mini game and, you, you know, that, 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 would be, that would be awesome. Would there be any concern with A, injury, or B, putting too much uh, on tape for that first opponent uh, of the next season that would, would, would uh, alter things? Uh, I could definitely see coaches being paranoid about putting things on tape. I also think coaches, if you take an NFL model, um, why are those guys able to do it? They're professionals. They understand that they're not going to give you everything and put everything on tape. It's the same as a preseason game in the NFL. You're going to work on some base stuff, but you're going to have all these t- tweaks and, and wrinkles, and you're not going to give your best stuff out there. Um, so I think coaches would be paranoid about that a little bit, uh, but there's definitely a way to go about that. And you just got to be a, a professional in that sense. And um, injury wise, that's interesting. Cause I know that, you know, it would, it would be competitive out there, but spring ball, you know, uh, Boise versus Boise is going to be very competitive as well. So sure. um, I'm not too sure it changes much. You know, I think guys are, when you get to this level, you learn how to practice. Now, maybe the practice habits of Boise State are that much better than Idaho State. And I'm just throwing that out there. But um, I don't think it's probably that crazy because Idaho State's got great coaches. Everybody's got really good coaches that they care about, you know, their players' health and safety first and foremost. So they're teaching them the right practice habits. So uh, maybe there's a little bit different standard there, but – uh, hopefully, you know, that'd be something that this players could handle, whether if it's a tag tempo or a rap tempo. Well, sure. me wrapping a player up might be different than the linebacker at Idaho. There might be a little softer or, or do a little more. So it could create a little bit of tension, but I think that's some good tension that you want. And how about the exercise to be able to come out of that the best you can and to grow from it? Yeah, I, I would love it. I think it'd be cool. And I, you know, I would wonder though if, if it, there would be some restrictions in place where it had to be a lower level team or it had to be a if you're a group of five you know if it's a power five it has to be a group of five or I mean if you wanted to have USC Texas in a spring game you'd get a hundred thousand people probably at the Rose Bowl or something for it I mean uh, it would be if you, it, depending on how big you wanted to make it it could be huge yeah. and you know they started doing this in basketball usually in basketball if you play an exhibition it had to be against a, a lower level team. Uh, they started it where if, if the if you were ra- during the pandemic, where if you raise some money for charity uh, and there's a charity involvement, then you can have a Gonzaga mm-hmm. versus Boise State or, a, or a, a different level, you know, a one on one. And so you've had some much bigger exhibition games earlier, you know, with, with some bigger teams because the money does have a charity component. So maybe you throw that in yeah. there. I don't know. But that is building a little momentum. I saw it on social media the last couple of days. They're going to take a look at that uh, potentially for 2024. Uh, maybe by next year. I don't know if it would happen in time, but uh, it sounds like there is some growing momentum for teams that want to do that. Maybe not every team will, but, you know, add a little more revenue to your department. You, maybe you sell it and put it on TV as well, and that could make some extra money. Um, a there's a lot idea. of different uh, a lot of different things. So we'll, we'll see, but I, I think that is, you know, at least gaining some momentum here uh, moving forward. But I do want to get back to Boise State and what they got coming up on Saturday. But first, uh, as Winston said, Cutwater Spirits, more than 30 flavors of pre-mixed premium cocktails. We're, we're in the Cutwater Spirits studios right now. And uh, make sure you pick up their Long Island, Bloody Mary, Mango Margarita, all their 30 flavors, pre-mixed premium cocktails at your local gas station or grocery store. If you're looking to fix that uh, look of your back patio, your garage, your basement, look no further than RoePaint.com. ROEPaint.com is the website, and they have the concrete coatings uh, right now. They're scheduling out for the spring. More than um, five times stronger than epoxy, and it's a one-day install, and you will not be disappointed. Check them out, roepaint.com. Lift the afford to Boise. They'll buy your used vehicle, even if you don't buy from them. And uh, we appreciate Jim Sterk, Lift the afford. Rain's family couldn't be happier with our purchase of an F-150, but for some reason, if you don't want to buy from them, they will still buy your used vehicle. Just drive on in there, and they'll give you a cash offer on the spot from the appraiser. You can view their full inventory at liftyaffordboise.com. And our friends over at ICCU, Idaho Central Credit Union, the best in mobile e-branch online banking. Check them out, Idaho Central Credit Union. More than 500,000 Idahoans have made the switch. You can be next, iccu.com. And uh, we appreciate Idaho Central Credit Union, ropepaint.com, our two major sponsors for the golf tournament coming up. I know you joked about it, Winston, but uh, June 2nd, 
out at Timberstone Golf Course. We have added an afternoon flight, so you'll actually have the option, Winston. You can play in the morning, or you can work the half day, sneak out, play in the afternoon if you'd like. Um, we have uh, basically sold out the morning flight. We have one spot left because somebody moved to the afternoon, so uh, we're doing very well. We're going to raise a lot of money for the Idaho Youth Sports Commission, help uh, raise some money to fund some of our travel and things, and being able to hire people like Winston to do shows. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. June 2nd out at Timberstone Golf Course, and uh, spots are going fast. So if you want in, you want to meet Winston, you want to see his 400-yard uh, drive on that opening tee shot, make sure you come on out June 2nd, Timberstone Golf Course. But uh, you can get more information. You can sign up today. Just reach out to me on social media, or you can go on the website, bronconationnews.com, and click on the golf tab. And uh, we're uh, we're over halfway sold out now that we added the afternoon flight. So uh, jump in now. It's going to be awesome. we got Pastry Perfection bringing out breakfast, some Degenhart Dozen uh, Donuts, we got uh, just catering. Our man, Chef Walla, used to be the owner of a Fat Guy's Deli there in Meridian. Going to be doing the uh, catering again for lunch. We will have the beverages out there. We're working on some cut waters as well, Winston. And uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun out on the golf course. So uh, appreciate you for agreeing to play. And uh, we're going to have some fun there on June 2nd, man. Hey, I'm talking longest drive, but I, I saw something. I want to say... Is there a little hole in one type contest going there on? There is. There is actually. I don't know if I have the graphic. Uh, up I feel like it's go, a big. But... I feel like it's a big prize for the winner of that if they it get is, a hole in one. The, you put me on the spot here, and I don't have the graphic ready. But yeah, Lithia Ford is giving away a brand new Bronco Sport. So if you can get a hole in one, hole six at Timberstone, it's not exactly the uh, easiest hole. But if you can get a hole in one at Timberstone, hole six, uh, yeah, there's going to be a Bronco Sport. At the tee, right when you're teeing off, you see the car, and if you put it in the hole, I think they just hand you the keys and you drive off with it, man. Hey, BJ, don't tell me, don't tell me, hole six is like a par five. No, it's it's a longer par three, but for you, it's probably a pitching wedge. <laughs> it's probably a sand wedge for for. I just, wanted, I just wanted to see how unrealistic we were thinking here. I mean, no, no, least... no, it is it is uh, definitely doable, and I'm trying to stall so I can get the cool graphic we have uh, up on the screen here. But but uh, no, it is. Uh, I think it's about 175 yards or something. It's one of the further ones at at Timberstone, but it's uh, certainly it's certainly uh, certainly doable. It's certainly yeah. doable, and uh, Lithia Ford is uh, you know one of our major sponsors. We appreciate them, and they uh, they have. Uh, they, they've ponied up. They have ponied up. They have a new vehicle that you can win. And, uh, again, it will be at the tee box. And if you uh, get the hole-in-one, you win the new Ford Bronco Sport. So there you go. June 2nd, one of the many cool things we're giving away. We do have the hole-in-one. We do have the long drive competition, Winston. The only problem is for your uh, for your drive to count, you have to keep it in the fairway. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> we do, <laughs> we do have the uh, closest to the pin as well on hole eight. We'll have the long drive. We got a lot of other cool competitions. We'll have different uh, restaurants and companies kind of throughout the course at different holes uh, with different uh, giveaways and things. Uh, our friends at ICCU is actually giving everybody a brand new golf glove uh, at their wow. uh, at their hole. Um, uh, we've partnered with uh, Row Paint as well. You're going to get a nice sleeve of golf balls. Uh, and I mentioned there'll be some food and drinks on the way. So it's going to be awesome. Raise money for a good cause, meet some cool people and have a good time. We appreciate Winston and everybody else in the BNN family. Johnny and Prater will be broadcasting their show out there. KTIK uh, out there on the patio. It's going to be an awesome day. So looking forward to it. If you came last year, uh, you obviously had a great time. We've had a lot of people, uh, from last year, you know, sign up again. And then a lot of new people saw how cool it was and wanted to jump in. And that's why we've opened up the uh, afternoon flight, uh, as well. So, uh, Jordan was there last year. He says the catering was the most bomb catering I think I've ever had. Tourney's going to be another awesome event, no doubt. Yep, looking forward to that. Um, not just a sports commentator, but an excellent marketer. There you go. I'll, I'll take that, uh, Winston. But uh, back to the football. Come, come join us for the golf tournament. We'd love to have you. But back to the football talk here. Um, the secondary, Winston. Uh, a lot of talk yeah. about, you know, we, we just heard from Rodney Robinson. I want to hear from him again. Um, you know, he started, I think, every game last year. So he played a lot, but he was kind of in the shadow still of Tyreek Jones and JL Skinner as, oh, the other guy uh, yeah. out there from those two. He's not the biggest guy. He's a little bit smaller. You know, if him and Alexander Tubner, your two starters this year, you're going to have a much different look in terms of the size of uh, those guys back there and even a shale, a depot at nickel. I mean, you're going to have, uh, you know, some smaller, at least in stature, uh, guys out there. Now, you get up close to them. They're, they're big, muscly, thick guys. But uh, in terms of just their height, um, it's going to be a little different look in the secondary, but that kind of seems like the, the Boise state mantra, man, these guys that have that chip on their shoulder, feel like they've been overlooked and 
for years, as you know, Boise State has thrived on on people like that. You can even throw yourself in there, coming from a, a, a you know a lower mm-hmm. level and stuff. I mean, uh, it, it seems like um, it, it seems like these guys maybe don't have the the notoriety or the NFL draft hype or that kind of stuff. But so, what's your take on the secondary? And I guess we'll start with the nickel safety spots. Uh, you know, trying to replace some key guys. Yeah, no, I love it. I love I love the type of guys that are in the program right now. And like you said, there's, you know, Boise's really been built on these type of guys where, you know, you could throw in the local walk-ons and the guys with the chip on their shoulder, but whether you were a local walk-on or not, or you were a scholarship guy, that was the type of makeup that you had, you know, under-recruited type of guy that went out there with something to prove. And I think that that's exactly what we're going to see this year with, you know, guys like uh, Rodney Robinson and Alexander Tubner, where, yeah, Rodney started a lot of games and you know what? He's around the ball a lot, had a couple interceptions. He seems to be in the right place at the right time. So great credit to him as far as having that football intelligence and then just the athleticism and the instincts to be around that football. And uh, that's what you're going to need. So Rodney's name and, you know, he's had some plays and, and things where, you know, we've been able to recognize four out there running around and he's a ball of energy and he plays with passion and high effort. So I'm really excited to see him go out there with a chip on his shoulder and try to prove himself and kind of fill that void like we're talking about. And then Tubner's the same way. Uh, I think I got asked a question, you know, months back or a year ago or so, like, you know, what what kind of guys from this 2022 or 2021 team, you know, could have played in in your era. And guy like Tubner was like one of the first guys in mind because he is a passionate, high energy, high effort football player that will bring the physicality and the aggression. And it just speaks volumes to the type of defensive player that Boise has had in the past and, you know, currently still has. I think he represents Boise State defense pretty well. So guys like that, man, it goes a long ways in this program. High effort guys and Tubner and Rodney are one of those. So if they have that chip on their shoulder and trying to prove something, hopefully they don't get too caught up in that where they're doing too much. But uh, there's nothing wrong with doing your job, doing it really well, and going out there and executing for the team. I really see this defense being a collective unit this year that builds some chemistry because there's not one or two big, big stars. Here's Rodney Robinson talking about that group and that chip on their shoulder. I look around in the DV room right now, and I just see a lot of playmakers right now, a lot of guys that's hungry right now. Yeah, um, those guys, they just been coming in and working every day, trying to get better. You know, uh, even though those guys have left, um, the standard stays the same. So we just coming in every day and just working. The secondaries came along uh, real well. Uh, Guys are, like I said, guys are competing right now. Uh, And like I said, it's a a lot of new guys, so they're still learning. But I I tell you, we got a lot of playmakers in this secondary. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I, the expectation for this uh, defense this year is to be better than last year, and we have all the guys to do that, and I'm extremely confident that we will be better than last year's defense. There he is, extremely confident that it will be better than last year's defense, so not, not lacking the confidence there at least. No, for sure, and I mean, I think that's, 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 that's beautiful, right? I mean, and most of the guys like Rodney, you know, he's played a little bit. Tubner's been out there a little bit, but – that's what it's going to take, man. I mean, uh, carry yourself with that confidence. It's it's real, um, you know. And sometimes you gotta you gotta boost yourself up to be able to go step in between those lines and go after your opponent. So I love hearing that from Rodney in the spring right now. And um, yeah, you should never have a lack of confidence going out there and playing, especially being on the defensive side of the ball. Well, let's hear one more from Rodney. This is talking about himself. And again, he did play a lot last year, um, but I think it was still kind of in the shadows of some of those other guys. So he's got the playing experience, but now it's his chance to kind of really step, you know, into a a leadership role, more of a face of the defense kind of role in that back end. Here's Rodney Robinson talking about himself in his spring. It really is just proving to myself that I know what I'm capable of at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter where other things, if I go, if I know what I'm capable of, I just got to make sure I put that work in so I can go prove that to myself on Saturdays. Uh, my spring ball is going well. I have one pick so far. There's a lot of things um, I want to do uh, better than other things, of course, but um, that's what spring ball is about, fixing the things, where um, fixing where you're lacking. So that's kind of what I've my, uh, been my main focus during spring ball. Um, I just want to I just want to show that I'm one of the best in the country. I know the expectations I set for myself. I challenge myself every day, and I know I can be one of the best in the country. I just got to put the work in. 
Once again, the confidence of Rodney Robinson, you you like to see it. I know Tubner's a very confident guy, Shale Adipo as well. Um, and again, the, the corner position is going to be interesting Saturday as well uh, because, you, you know, you have Canijo is out right now with a shoulder injury. Markel yeah. Reed is out with an injury. You have to yeah. replace Caleb Biggers, obviously. So Jalen Clark, we're hearing about this junior college transfer, Amari and McCoy. Um, yep. You're going to be a, a lot of reps going around, but, uh, you know, for some guys, I'd be curious to see them. But a couple of key guys that you do expect to be out there in the fall in some capacity won't be out there due to injuries. So it's going to be a little tough to get a, a full grasp on the corner position. Yeah, and I think yeah, I think it's gonna it's gonna take us all the way into training camp and and really that first game to just see who who Boise State's got out there. And it could be a mul- uh, multiple players, but you know where is Markel Reed and his recovery and his reps and his confidence and all that and game speed. You know where. Where is he at? Um, how does Kaniho come come around with you know his stuff going on too? Because those guys obviously have played played some snaps and um, have been contributors to that defense, but you know injuries have plagued them a little bit. So it's just going to be very interesting to see who's ready to go, who's had enough reps, and uh, who's separating themselves at that position. We'll see if we have two solid corners going into the year. I want to talk briefly about the offense before we get out of here and they're, they're, uh, what we're looking for there on Saturday. But if you're going to the spring game and need some new gear, check out the Blue and Orange Store. They got free shipping online, any order over $40. But if you're in the Boise area, head on over to the Boise Town Square Mall. Perfect time to pick up some fresh spring gear for the spring game. To get more information, view their full uh, you know, uh, inventory of stuff that they got there at the Blue and Orange Store. And if you're looking for a new job, how about Transportation Compliance Service? Transcomservice.com. They can help you every step of the way to get into the trucking industry. So if you're looking for a new job, uh, they can help you out with all the permits and things, whether it's the big rig on your screen, the Amazon truck in your neighborhood, every kind of delivery truck in between. Check them out at Transportation Compliance Service. And uh, Winston, Taylor Green. I think all eyes are going to be on Taylor Green in the spring game. Um I think that, you know, he, he kind of got thrown into the fire there and had the new OC midway through last season. Obviously, ended up winning freshman of the year despite really not playing a lot early in the season. Um, I think there's a lot of hype around this young man uh, going into his first full season as a starter. And we'll just add a little more fuel to the fire. Here was uh, Rodney Robinson talking about Taylor Green. Taylor is going to be on everybody's radar this year. I promise you that. It, it's going to be real exciting football with the offense we got right now. Well, if he wasn't already on everyone's radar, certainly mm-hmm. probably will be moving forward. But um, what what are you uh, looking forward to seeing in terms of the growth, the development of Taylor Green, and and obviously with Bush Hamden uh, installing a new offense and stuff this uh, this spring as well? Uh, what are you looking at from Taylor Green in the offense on Saturday? Uh yeah, I, you know I'm, you know for sat for Saturday, you know it'll be interesting to see what 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 they're working with out there as far as the offense goes, and and one of those reasons I say that is just because. A lot of us love to see Taylor run, right? I mean, obviously, he's got that uh, going on for himself. Super athletic kid. You know, he can make people miss um, when the ball's in his hands. And I think we saw highlights and flashes of him throwing the ball. Um, And, you know, he's got a great arm. So the one thing that I'm looking forward to to see is what the weather is looking like. Because the last two springs that I was a part of, well, last year as a fan and then the year before – the wind has been a major factor um, and it's really limited the offense out there for a spring game. And that's no excuses or anything, but I'd really love to see Taylor, you know, sit in that pocket and pick some people apart in the passing game. I think that would be awesome to see. And then just in general, once we get to the season, it's going to be awesome to see, um, you know, what kind of running, what kind of running plays are we catering towards Taylor Green? And are those going to be as effective this year? Or are we going to get creative? Is Bush going to get creative and um, come up with some some new wrinkles to what we did last year? Because like Rodney's saying, I mean, everybody's going to be clued in on him and understanding his ability. I think he didn't really catch people by surprise last year towards the end because he got it. He got it going soon enough where people are like, OK, you know, we know what he's got. He has enough film out there. But now it'll be really cool to see Bush's uh, wrinkles to what Taylor does well and how they're going to implement him in the run game. Because I think uh, running quarterback is just super dangerous in college football. If you have one that can also throw, watch out. 
you know, we'll see what, you know, he's obviously not going to uh, be live probably or be taking any huge hits in this game, I wouldn't think. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't expect to see much. I, I don't think, uh, I know that he's coming off an injury, uh, Halani, and then even Ashton Genty. I don't think Ashton Genty needs to be getting too many carries in this game either. I, I think you're going to see a lot of T. Crow and a lot of uh, – uh, Ethan Makita and some of the other guys. It uh, wouldn't shock me if your MVP on the offense is a guy like Tyler Crow ends up getting like 20 carries and runs for 80 or 90 yards. Uh, I mean, this is a final thing, I guess, Winston, but you, you want to get some work in, but a lot of this is uh, protecting your star players and making sure they're not going into the offseason with some injury, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that's one of those things that coaches – uh, position coaches along with the head coach are are really dialing in. I mean, that's a big part of being a position coach is that rep management and figuring out what guys actually need, right? So we're talking about a Genty or a Halani, um, you know, and it, I don't want to throw Genty in the vet category, but he did he did take a lot of carries last year, and I, I know he's got plenty of stuff to work on, pass protection, some things like that. So it'll be good for those guys to get some reps, but – like you're saying, uh, we're not going to go risk injury, you know, the last game of spring ball for some of those guys going in. And you still got to play, but you're going to get your work and you're going to shut it down nice and early. We're going to get some of these young guys to uh, prove themselves and see how they are doing in live action. Because, you know, not all the time the young guys are going to get reps. Sometimes you go through a practice and that's a really limited package for the threes and the fours. But then come these games – there's going to be several snaps, you know, 20, 30 snaps that some of these guys are going to get, you know, live reps. Hey, uh, Progressive Wealth Management, PWMmanagement.com. I know you're uh, getting ready, gearing up to help some of these guys in the NFL draft and stuff, but you'll take the uh, the average Joe like me, right? Uh, g- give a quick sales pitch to folks that uh, more information on Progressive Wealth Management. Hey, you know, if you're a, uh, you know, you don't necessarily need to be a high net worth, but if you're looking for some financial services, you need to get educated up on some things. You got question marks. You want to know what to do with some retirement plan, or you need a little bit of, uh, you know, calm, calm voice in your ear uh, to not freak out over the inflation and, uh, and the crises that are going on out there. Just give us a call and uh, we'll take care of you. My man, Tracy is been doing this for a long time and um you know nobody is uh too small or too big for us yeah man they definitely we definitely could use a calming voice right now we need to get this uh, this thing turned in the uh in the other direction here with uh some of these retirement plans and things so uh, appreciate you winston uh thanks to progressive wealth management for uh, letting you uh take 30 minutes to do this we'll do it again on uh next wednesday to wrap up spring ball and then maybe a chance we'll see a Saturday if we can work something out. I might hopefully have a cool announcement on Thursday or Friday about that. But, uh, well, either way, we'll see a Saturday down on the field for the game. And um, appreciate your time as always. Hope folks will go check out PWMmanagement.com. And uh, always appreciate it. It's fun time, Winston, and we'll do it again next week. All right, BJ. appreciate having me on. Best in the business, Winston Venable. We truly appreciate him for uh, giving up his time to do this. And I hope you guys have a great day. Again, Talon Green talking today. We'll get that video up on the uh, YouTube channel this afternoon. Mike Prater and I tomorrow will talk a little bit about Cam Martin for the basketball team committing and some other news as well as we get you set for Saturday's spring game. Have a great day. Thanks to RowPaint.com. This is Bronco Nation News Live, BroncoNationNews.com, the Winston Venable Show. We'll talk to you later.